morning. Today is a more laid back day because we got really tired. Uh, but we're still visiting Boulders Beach and hopefully to see some penguins up close. But first, let me show you the view from our window. Change of plans. It's the first day without any wind. Now that I got this out of my system, let's go. Many people think that Cape Town is not safe. So I just want to give you my tips, but first I want to give you the city's tips. These are notes that you can find anywhere pretty much in every tourist center. And they have like the seven safety tips for the city. And these are prepare, research the area and be ready for weather changes. Yeah, the weather can change significantly. People, make sure you hike in groups or with someone that you know. That's also a valid point. Path, stick to the path, make a map and so on. Well, this is quite normal. With technology, you don't need to make a path. You just have it in your pocket. Phone, uh, emergency numbers and charge your phone, okay. Protect your valuables around ATMs and crowds. Don't carry large sums of cash or display any valuables. And you can pay almost everything with card here, so you don't really need that much cash. Don't come close or feed or touch any animals, including seals, penguins, dassies, which are basically huge rats. And uh, yeah, just respect the animals around you and don't get into their environment too much. And photocopies, that's number seven. Keep a photocopy of your documents uh, in somewhere safe. I think these are like, common sense tips. I don't see anything that it's like carry a gun or someone will come and steal your stuff. This could happen in every city if you just apply common sense and I think you'll be fine. In the last few days we haven't had any issues or any doubts about our safety or someone stealing stuff from us. I think it's a little bit exaggerated this whole thing with the crime here. Uh, if you just use your common sense, I think you'll be fine, like everywhere. If you're just going to neighborhoods that are a bit shady, you'll probably get robbed or something. But just apply the same here, it, it's not any different. I think the country is quite modern and safe and amazingly beautiful. Boulders Beach, aka Penguin Paradise. By itself, Boulders is amazingly beautiful and it's the perfect place for penguins to relax, snuggle and mate like, uh, like, like penguins, I guess. However, the main Boulders beach feels a lot like zoo because you're walking on this platform which of course is meant not to disturb the animals and you can still see them but there are also a lot of people and keep in mind we were there in the off season and the animals still get quite close to you they're very curious especially the babies and you can look at their really funny faces and the way they they walk and they just shake shake it, it, it was perfect for the relaxed day that we wanted to have and to be honest i could watch them whole day just going in and out of the water on the less touristy side of boulders beach You can see and hear a lot of horny penguins and some dassies even closer. On the southern part, there's a smaller beach that looks like this. 
and if you are ready for a little hike up the rocks, you can get on the other side of them and then get really up close and intimate with the animals. This is the beach where all the Instagram photos are taken, but most importantly, the animals are so relaxed and so used to the people that you can just admire them in their natural habitat without disturbing them at all. I don't know about you, but I just had a cuteness overload, so I'm gonna end up the vlog here and I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Ciao!